Hey guys, it's Jeff and today iOS 11.4 beta 3 was released this morning to all developers. The build number for this beta will be 15F4061D and the size for my iPhone 10 was around 231 megabytes. Along with this update, watchOS 4.3.1, Xcode, and tvOS all received updates so we might be seeing an official version of iOS 11.4 very soon. Anyways, back to this update and the release notes state that this update brings bug fixes and improvements, so let's check it out. So first thing is first, we have to check out performance and see if there are actually any further improvements to this category. So let's run a quick Geekbench test to find out. In our results, we are seeing a huge increase in numbers for the GPU or compute performance, but just slightly better numbers for the CPU performance. So overall, you are going to see a better GPU performance, which would be um, going throughout the UI and maybe even gaming performance. But as far as CPU performance, you're going to notice basically nothing as that was within the margin of error. So comparing this to previous beta versions, I'd say that the performance has definitely improved. And with that, stability has also been maintained. Unfortunately though, we haven't seen any new features within this release, and this does include the battery health menu, which is still in beta. No new wallpapers in this version or changes to the UI, so we might just have to wait for all of those till iOS 12 to see those changes. As far as my recommendation on updating to this beta version, I'd say go for it simply because performance seems to be really good, stability is definitely present, and I'm not experiencing any drawbacks in this beta version. If you ever want to join the beta program, you can always do so at beta.apple.com. So guys, that's it for iOS 11.4 beta 3. The overall performance of iOS 11.4 has definitely improved. And with that, we are still maintaining the stability that we've seen throughout these betas. Hopefully this is a good sign for continued high performance and stability for the future of iOS 12, which should be coming at WWDC this year. So sorry guys, nothing new, but we are seeing definitely a better and more stable build of iOS 11.4. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and throw us a like on the video. Also, if you want to stay up to date when our videos come out, hit that bell button to stay up to date on those. So stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.